Welcome to this lecture in the data cleaning and pre-processing module. In this lesson, we will focus on sorting data, a critical step for organizing your data set and making it easier to analyze the trends or identify specific records. First, let's see why to sort data. Sorting data helps you, number one, arrange records in a logical order such as by date or value. Number two, quickly identify top performing sales, latest transactions or other insights. Number three, prepare data for downstream process like visualization or aggregation. Now let's again start with loading the data. We'll be using the same data set here. Toyota data is nothing but a data frame. I also wanted to convert the sale date to date type. For that, I should be able to use this piece of code. In this case, you can see I'm using pd to date time to convert sale date to date data type. Uh, now let's start by sorting the data set by sale amount in ascending order to view the lowest sales first. For that purpose, I should be able to go with this logic. Sorted by amount equal to Toyota sales data or Toyota data, then sort underscore values, then buy equal to sale underscore amount. Now let me run this. Let me also preview the original data followed by this sorted by amount. When it comes to original data, you can see data is sorted by sale ID. The data is not sorted by sale amount. Now we are attempting to sort the data by sale amount. Already we have run this. I just have to preview the data by just saying sorted by amount and then by running this you can see the data is sorted in ascending order by sale amount so the sort values method sorts the data frame by the specified column by default it sorts in ascending order let's go to the details about sorting in descending order to view the highest sales first we can sort the sale amount column in descending order the way we can achieve it is like this let me first copy this let me paste here now here i should be able to rename this as sorted by amount desc then toyota data dot sort values then by equal to sale amount then when it comes to the second argument we have to specify the order for that you can use a keyword argument by name ascending you can see there's a keyword argument by name ascending here you have to say false by default it is true now we are setting it to false now let's run this then Let's preview the data. You can see here, data is sorted in descending order by sale amount. When it comes to the ascending equal to false, this is the argument which reverses the sort order to descending. Now let us also understand how to sort by multiple columns. We can sort by multiple columns to break ties. For example, let's sort by sale status and then by sale date within each status. Uh, the logic will be something like this. Let me say sorted by status followed by date equal to Toyota data then sort underscore values. Here for buy, you have to pass the call names as list. The first one is nothing but sale underscore date. Then the second one is nothing but sale underscore status. Now let's run this and then let's preview the data here. The data should be sorted in ascending order by date, you can see, then in ascending order by status. Uh, the by parameter accepts a list of columns. You can see here we are passing a list of columns. Uh, this will ensure the data is sorted first by sale status and then by uh, sale date. Now let's also see a practical use case. Let's sort the data set to view the most recent completed sales by sale date in descending order. Now let's go through practical use case. Let's sort the data set to view the most recent completed sales by sale date in descending order. Here we have to apply filtering and also we have to apply sort values after filtering. The way we can come up with the logic is like this. We can say Toyota underscore data then Toyota underscore data sale underscore status double equal to completed. You can see we got the 3543 sales which are in completed status. However, the data is not sorted in descending order by date. To ensure we get the data in descending order by date, we should be able to use sort underscore values. 
uh, here we can say by equal to sale underscore date and when it comes to ascending it should be false now let me run this now if you review the outcome we only got those sales where sales status is completed and also the data is in descending order by sale date you can see here first you are seeing the latest sales which have happened on 2024 november 30th this combines filtering and sorting to produce a focused and organized subset of the data let's recap of the sorting techniques covered number one we have sorted by a single column using sort volumes with by where we have specified a single column name then we have gone through the details about sorting in descending order using ascending equal to false after those two the third one is nothing but sorting by multiple columns by passing a list to the by parameter then we have seen a practical use case where we have combined filtering and sorting for targeted analysis that being said in this lecture you learned how to organize your dataset by sorting it based on single or multiple columns in the next lecture we'll explore creating custom data frames to handle advanced data manipulation scenarios see you there